Hello, boys and girls. Today is going to be a review day, and today we are going to focus on counting coins. So we've looked at counting coins before in the past, but we want to review that just a little bit with you. So today, let's go ahead and get started by talking about the different coins that we have. So <clears throat> you can see some of the coins that we've talked about in the past on this page. And I can see quarters. I know quarters are worth 25 cents. We have the next highest coin, which is a dime. A dime is worth 10 cents. Then we have a nickel and a nickel is worth five cents. And last but not least, there is a penny and a penny is worth one cent. So we've got several coins here on this page that we can count and look through. Um, this particular coin here is a nickel, so that's going to be worth five cents. Again, another nickel, and then we've got two pennies. Okay, so the nickel is the one with the purple um, line around it. This is a dime. A dime is pretty small. Um, it's smaller than a nickel, but its value is more. And it's smaller than a penny, but still has a higher value. So the dime looks like this, and I have circled it in blue. Okay, the next coin we're going to look at is the penny. The penny looks like this. It is a bronze type color, and you can see Abraham Lincoln on it. A penny is worth one cent. And the last coin that we're going to be using today is a quarter. A quarter is the biggest coin that we are using right now in second grade, and the quarter is worth 25 cents. It's the largest coin that we have, and it's also got the largest value. So knowing those things, we're going to go ahead and count some of these um, coins that we have on the page. One thing that I really like to do when I am counting coins is I actually like to put up little stop signs between the types of coins that we have. So right here, I see two nickels and then I see two pennies. So I'm going to put a little squiggly line. That's kind of like my stop sign. And that tells me to stop counting a certain way and start counting a different way. So I'm going to start off counting by fives and then I'm going to count by ones. So try this with me, ready? Five, 10, stop, and then count by ones. 11 and 12. So the first line is worth 12 cents. Okay, on the second line, I see a dime and two pennies. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate those two types of coins using my little squiggly stop sign. So I know that dimes are worth 10 cents, so I'm going to start off counting by 10, and then pennies are worth one, so then I'll count by ones. So count with me. 10, stop, now count by ones. 11, 12, again, 12 cents. Do you notice that we could actually trade this dime in for two nickels? Or we could trade two nickels in for one dime? We still have the same answer. All right, let's look at line number three. So here I've got three different kinds of coins. I've got a dime, two nickels, and one penny. So go ahead and squiggle, put a squiggle line after the dime, and I'm also going to put a squiggle line after the nickels. So now I've got my coins separated into different categories. I'm gonna start counting by tens, then count by fives, then count by one. Try it with me. 10, stop, now count by fives. 15, 20, stop, count by ones, 21. Okay, you guys are doing a great job sticking with me. All right, we've got some other coins here. We've got a quarter this time, no dimes, 
we've got some nickels and some pennies. So I'm going to draw my squiggle line after the quarter. I'm going to draw a squiggle line after the nickels, and then all that's left is my pennies. So we're going to start counting by 25, then count by fives, then count by ones. Ready? Count with me. 25, stop, count by fives. 30, 35, stop, now count by ones. 36, 37, 38, 39. So my answer here would be 39. And we are going to look at one more. And we have quarters, dimes, no nickels, and we've got some pennies. So I'm going to put a squiggle line after my quarters. I'm going to put a squiggle line after my dimes. And then the rest are pennies. So count with me. Here we go. 25, 50, count by tens, 60, 70, now count by ones, 71, 72, 73. So boys and girls, I hope this was helpful to you. We will practice counting by coins in the classroom as well. All right, boys and girls, thanks for listening and have a wonderful day.